All right, Libra. Interesting. Very interesting pull here. And for those of you who have questions about relationships, these Oracle cards are definitely for you. So from the Halloween Oracle, eternal love. Love is love is love, and it transcends physical death. And then from Hidden Realms, the Web Weaver, synchronicity, divine intelligence, cause and effect. And then this did show up as an ally for you, which, you know, I thought was perfect when I was reading it. But the way that the two of them work together, it's like the very last part of these cards and reading the definition all of a sudden brings up relationships. And most of these cards don't. A few will. I mean, of course, eternal love is going to, but with the hidden realms, you don't see that often. I was like, damn, are you kidding me? <laughs> so eternal love. This one is very much like Love Conquers All from Lee Vampire. It says that you're being reminded that love is the most powerful force in the universe. It is more powerful than death itself. Love lingers and it leaves its own legacy. And we should be aware of this every day that we live. Now, the last sentence was about relationships. And I was like, where did this come from? For those that are ready for and desiring of a partner, it also indicates that a significant love is close at hand and to be ready to open up to this new experience which, okay, that's great, right? And then I read The Web Weaver. And, you know, the first thing it talks about is, you know, seeing the synchronicity in everything, right? It talks about this is a sign to trust that the connectivity between all events is leading you to something that you are attracting, right? You're, you're putting that vibration out and it's coming back to you, which, okay, great, right? And then the very next part of it says, if your question is about a relationship, I'm like, you got to be fucking kidding me. <laughs> it says, this card gives you assurance that meaningful coincidence comes through to give you reason to hope. Potential grows into reality with care and patience. Remember that the web reaches far and wide and you're only capable of perceiving a small part of it. Trust and pay attention to the patterns you see play out in your life. All things will be revealed through the web. So yeah, synchronicity at its best. All right, Libra, here is your overall for the week. God damn it. God damn it. What the fuck? Why? Now, with the Five of Cups being the overall, we could definitely be talking about you looking at your emotions right now and where you feel dissatisfied. You know, some of you may be feeling really low. You may not be seeing what is happening around you that is working in, you know, your best interest. But, you know, I, I'm hoping that this is like reversed, you know, that you're getting over this disappointment, you're getting over this sadness, you're getting over the difficult emotions, but we'll see how this is playing out. Now, in the past, strength, and you're needing to pull on that again, right? And not being so worn out and worn down by the things that you know may have been disappointing you or that may still be disappointing you in the present the two of swords you know this has the feeling of realizing that you know no matter how much you try to pull on your inner strength here if something is not making you happy you know it, it's almost like there is nothing that you can do to change the situation. You need to take what you still have here and build something better for yourself, right? Because the two cups always remain. That's always been the advice of the five of cups. But with the two of swords being in the present, it's needing to make that choice, needing to no longer ignore the situation and thinking that you just need to be strong through this. You just need to, you know, have the courage to continue to deal with something that's not making you happy. Like it's just, you can't, you can't now. Now you're being faced with the truth here and you're going to have to make a choice. You're going to have to make a difficult choice in order to get past, you know, what is not making you happy. Future conditions, the eight of wands, you know, and here's where I start to feel hopeful here. You know, and I don't think that things are happening so quickly that, you know, you can't make this choice. I think that for you, where you may feel like, you know, you're at the stalemate, the block right now, 
it's like in future conditions, boom, things start to pick up. You know, you know that it's time to act, right? I mean, it, we could be talking about you needing to communicate to somebody your disappointment, you know, but I don't know. I look at the Eight of Wands and I think not just, you know, fast moving energy, things picking up speed here, but, you know, things lining up in a way where you get to close out a situation, right? Getting everything in a row, getting everything lined up, you know, but I'm still wondering what the choice is about. Oof. Oh, 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 your best path to follow. And that may be why we're needing to kind of get uh, everything lined up and get everything prepared, so to speak, with the Eight of Wands. Oh, man. The Seven of Swords is your best path to follow. And here's what I'm going to say about this, because I've been noticing this a lot this week. For some people, you may not have a choice but to act in this way. You're just going to have to take what you can and get the hell out. You know, it's almost like there's no point in even saying anything anymore. What's the point? What is the point in even discussing anything because of, you know, how you are feeling right now? You know, and maybe the only way to clear that up is for you to act in this way, to do things that you feel like you need to do without saying anything about it. You know, and that, that definitely is not going to be an easy choice to do. Now, the other thing though, is if you're going to feel bad about doing this, then maybe you need to rethink what you're planning on doing. You know, maybe we don't need to do things secretly or, you know, and it's not that I don't think that you're intentionally trying to be deceptive or trying to get away with something. I don't think that that's it. You know, not with the Five of Cups and the Two of Swords being there. I just think that, you know, if you have to do things in this way, then, you know, maybe you're just going to have to do it or you need to rethink this, especially if all it's going to do is create more, you know, difficult emotions for you. Like, you don't want to regret doing something like this, right? Oh, buddy. Libra, come on now. <laughs> you know, you're not supposed to be affected by what's going on, damn it. The Eight of Cups in your environment with the Two of Swords, clearly it's not an easy choice, but you're not happy. You're not fulfilled. You're not getting what you want. There is no emotional fulfillment. You've invested too much into something that isn't giving you shit in return. If anything, you're feeling loss. You know, it's time to move on. It's time to move on to something else, right? You know, no. Normally, I would be like, you know, with the Eight of Cups, you know, I can't tell you to do that. Like, I can't tell you that you need to walk away, right? You have to make that choice. But if you know that this is something that potentially you're going to have to do here because of being really unhappy, then maybe you need to do it. But unfortunately, for some of you, you may feel like you have to do it in this way where you're just like in the cover of night, like I'm going to take my shit and get the fuck out because I can't deal with this anymore. You know, no matter what it is that you're leaving behind or needing to leave behind. Right. But right now it's like, that's not the choice that you're ready to make, you know, but things may change in future conditions here with the eight of wands, you know, and for some of you, you may have been thinking about this for far too long because I still look at strength coming through and looking at it lining down and thinking that, you know, you have been pulling on your reserve for quite some time with dealing with this. You know, whether we're talking about an unfulfilling relationship, an unfulfilling job situation, you know, whatever it is. But if you continue to stay with this, you're still just going to be disappointed and not seeing anything else. You know, wow, Libra, your hopes and your fears, the Ace of Pentacles. And that may be why you're needing to kind of do things like shh or feeling like you need to do it that way. The Ace of Pentacles is hopes and fears. This is about an opportunity, a new beginning for you and hoping that this is something that is going to be, first of all, better than what you're experiencing now or what you've been putting so much into and investing so much into emotionally here. But, you know, this is hoping that this is going to be long term this time, you know, but this is also you looking at what is practical, what is realistic here, right? 
But I still see that as an opportunity coming through, but your hopes and fears are surrounding this. The fear is, is if you don't make a choice right now, is that opportunity still going to be there for you? You know, man, oh man. Oh, <laughs> the fuck. Oh, the moon, the moon coming out. Uh, what I worry about here is that, you know, if you don't act, you know, with that eight of wands, I almost see like a door opening up there. There's going to be a door that kind of opens up where you know that like, okay, it's now we're never going to have to do this. Right. And unfortunately you may have to do it in this way, but for some of you, you may need to look at that before you actually choose to act in that way. You know, it, because the whole point here is to avoid more disappointment, but with the moon coming out, you know, do you let your fears and anxieties grip you to the point where you don't do anything? You know, do, are you looking at an opportunity or a choice here is not really being realistic for you? But yet here you are in a position where, you know, you're not being fulfilled and, you know, you're thinking about walking away. It's not that easy. Like I get that, but uncertainty is going to stop, you know, the progress that's already been started. Now, with the Three of Cups, we could definitely be talking about you needing to reach out to, to a support system. Now, unfortunately, with the moon being there, I mean, you know, it could be outside influences, you know, but whatever that outside influence is, it's not bringing you any kind of support or happiness or fulfillment, none of that, right? Now, the confusion may be because there may be a third party that you need to make a choice on, which is possible, especially with the Two of Cups being connected to the Two of Swords and Eight of Cups. You know, you may be looking to leave one relationship and move on to the next. I mean, straight up. But that's only because some of you are really seriously not happy where you're at. But some of you may be looking at the opportunity going, is it realistic? You know, is it real? Or am I just like looking at this and not seeing it accurately? You know, is it a fantasy, right? But we're not looking at the seven of cups here, but it's enough to prevent, you know, what has already been started. With the two of wands, you just end up in a place where you're still thinking about what you could potentially do here. You know, are you going to stay with something that isn't satisfying you or are you going to make a different choice here? You know, especially if we're talking about a relationship, you know. Wow, man. And then, right, like the synchronicity of events and it leading you to something that, you know, may be better for you than what you're dealing with right now, but it's not that easy. It's not that easy to make that choice. But as long as there is a third person involved in this, you know, nothing is going to be clear. Nobody is going to be seeing eye to eye, you know. But like I said, for some of you, it is planning to move on to another relationship here, you know, and possibly leaving a current one. Now, whatever that relationship is, you know, a, a lot of the... A lot of you, this is going to be romantic, you know, I mean, straight up, right? Now, you know, for some of you, this may be some confusion going on around a situation involving a friend, which is possible with the Three of Cups, needing to make a difficult choice here on whether or not to get involved because there may be a connection there, but it may not be enough for you looking at the Eight of Cups, you know, but with the Two of Wands, right, you have a choice on which way you want to go. You could do whatever the hell you want to do here. But if you have plans and you're wanting to act on them, you know, certainly don't let fear and anxiety stop you from moving on from a situation that is like depleting you and draining you. The Three of Cups and the Hermit. And, and that's, you know, it, it brings me right back to this feeling with the Two of Wands where you know, there may not be a whole lot of clarity on what your intentions actually are here or what you, you think is, you know, the right thing to do, you know, because if you're thinking about doing things on the down low here involving a relationship, then yeah, you know, for some of you, you may be thinking about getting back together. 
because the Three of Cups, the Three of Cups and the Nine of Swords in this deck specifically talk about coming back together. One is extremely difficult. This one is the potential healing of a broken heart. You know, this is not about the third party situation looking at this deck, you know, but you're being asked to release your ex. Now, for some of you, you may have to do that in order to heal a relationship that you're in. But the problem is, is like, you know, if we're talking about two different things you could be doing, you could be trying to get back together or heal a relationship. And there's definitely the potential to do that. I mean, you do have the star here for singles, right? But with the hermit, this is, you know, wanting to have that relationship. So are you actually going to have that if you make the choice to get back together? Or is it time to completely release this once and for all? and start focusing on the type of relationship that you want. Either way, I mean, it's almost like either way you go here, to me, you're still being asked to release an ex, you know? And like I said, for some of you, you may have to do that in order to heal what is going on within a current relationship, though, too. But I'm, I'm looking at the hermit, and you're still, like looking at that candle wanting that flame to start but it may not be there for you wow libra and then you have for singles trust and then you have the star right which is the healing of a relationship absolutely right trust that you know whatever difficulties you've faced whatever disappointment whatever sadness you know there will be healing when it comes to the next relationship that you get involved in or this is trusting that, you know, possibly you and another person can heal whatever issues there may have been, right? And trust that you're doing the right thing. But that's up to you. I mean, and I'm surprised the lovers didn't show up on this, you know, but I think that right now, some of you are too focused on the emotional disappointment, you know, and then not only that, but then having to make a difficult choice to walk away to walk away from, like I said, one relationship to maybe go to the next, you know, and it, it, it's no wonder why the goddamn moon is coming out on this shit. Nothing's clear, you know, the path isn't clear, but no matter what you choose, you're still headed on the right path. And that's the kicker for me on this. Usually, you know, most readings are going to tell you, look, you're going to have to do this in order to get to what you are wanting. You know, or you're going to have to do this in order to avoid this type of an outcome. But no matter what you choose to do, you're still on the path that you're meant to be on. You know, because I go back to synchronicity and, and think either way, events are going to line up in a certain way where when you finally get to the end of the road here, things will become clear you know, and you'll understand why you needed to act in a certain way or make the choices that you did, you know. But again, like I said, for some of you, the focus right now is too much on, you know, the emotional disappointment. There's going to be a door opening. You can choose not to act or you can choose to take a different path. You know, you can choose to leave this relationship or you can choose to heal it. 